Hello and welcome to this charming... Actually, I can't even really say it's fully charming yet. Um, it is the Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. I really just... I know next to nothing. This is the first time starting this game. I know it's starting on continue. I have not started up this game yet. And I'm always willing to check out definitely the more interesting art style type games. Select a bookmark to create a new side file. So let's go with orange. This is a tiny tale of love in a faraway land. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom surrounded by a deep and dark, deep dark forest. The forest was a frightening place filled with beasts and ruled by a powerful witch. Even during the day, the forest could be as dark as the winter night. Because of this, humans rarely ventured inside. The very odd part about this image right now is it's like some sort of wolf creature, but the eyes are on the side because those little white areas that look like lashes, as terrible as the forest was, a beautiful singing voice would always pierce the dark darkness when the moon shone. The voice belonged to a large wolf. She would proudly sing toward the moon high atop a cliff every night. The wolf's singing drew in an unforeseen admirer, a human prince from the kingdom surrounded by the forest. Every night, the prince would venture into the scary forest just to hear the beautiful song. One night, when the wolf finished singing, the prince applauded. The voice's identity was hidden because of the cliff, but this only piqued the prince's curiosity. Yeah, the eyes are on the side of its body! However, the prince had innocently applauded the wolf, who had never before been praised for her singing. She hesitated at first, but for some reason, she soon grew fond of it and didn't feel like eating him. So every night after a song, the wolf would hear the prince's applause and retreat into the deep dark forest. These nights continued, even as the seasons changed. One night, like any other, the wolf sang her song toward the moon. It was the same quiet evening for her. However, tonight was a special night for the prince. He entered the forest filled with determination. Underdale! <laughs> She pondered and wondered and glanced down below. What? Why was the prince coming so close to her? Oh! Shit! He'll hate me if he sees me, the wolf panicked. No one should see what I really look like. She sends her large paw to cover the prince's eyes. Then, but instead, her claws accidentally tore at the prince's eyes. I did not know that's how he got blinded. The wounded prince began to gradually lose consciousness. The terrible memory of claws in his eyes and the beast's grip on his arm became engraved in his mind. The prince, now blind, had brought disappointment and shame to the royal family. And his parents locked him away. Oh my god! Locked him away in the castle tower. Good lord. Great 
kudos to your parent. Oh my god, this is dark. Fairy tale motif. Granted, lots of fairy tales are built off of dark stories. Ooh, okay, now I'm in actual gameplay. It still bothers me that the eyes are on the side. Oh, I can attack. First encounter. I guess that's like a little trophy system. It's hard to hit twice when they're moving backwards. B jump. There it goes. Yeah. I probably should get closer to them. Yeah, that may have been what I needed. So doors will open if I have the key and just walk into it. The wolf came across a cold room and saw the distressed prince sitting inside. The prince sent someone nearby and raised his face. A large cloth was wrapped around his eyes as if to hide something shameful and dirty. I wouldn't say shameful and dirty, but he did just recently get his eyes severely damaged by claws, so I imagine there's scarring that is still healing. There's no way it healed within days of that. Thank you for coming, but how did you know I was here? The wolf didn't know how to respond to that question. I'm a princess from a nearby kingdom, the wolf lied. Remembering that the prince couldn't see her, I said I wanted to visit the ill prince and they let me in. Anyway, forget that. I can't believe you're trapped in here. But I I was attacked by a vicious monster and my face is awful. My vision is gone. I can't wander outside. I'm forbidden from showing my face in public ever again. Okay, let's not not just in bad parenting context, but also in the what happened to your kid context. Cause that's a little messed up of, no, he's going to be locked away and we're not going to show him to the public ever again. Cause I imagine the citizens of the kingdom know, hey, there's a prince, isn't there? Unless they just say he got killed in that attack. But even then, that's even more mess. That's messed up on so many freaking levels. Let's ask the witch of the forest to heal your eyes. The prince looked dumbfounded upon hearing her idea. The witch? You mean the witch of the forest like the one from the storybook? Storybook? I'm not sure. But the witch can grant all wishes. She can fix you. The wolf dropped her gaze after hearing his words. She looked at her paws. All she saw were sharp claws that were made for hurting others. I want to take the prince from here, the wolf thought, but I can't hold his hand with these monstrous claws. Determined, she clasped her claws quietly and stepped closer to the prince. I'll take you to the forest to see the witch. The prince slowly raised his head and to the wolf's voice, but just wait here a bit. I'll be back shortly. And then she fled at the castle tower and ran into the forest. Does she already see the witch? She ran all night through the forest. The sun was rising. Just as she arrived at the witch's house. Oh, of course, she's going to see the witch. To make herself disguised. A witch of the forest turned her gaze to the sun visitor. Oh, what a rare customer. A man-eating wolf. Come all the way here. What's this about? There's someone I want you to see. The witch let out a heartly laugh. Sly wolves rarely said, su bleh, said such things. The latter looking ready to bite at any time. But of course, I shall grant your wish. Hmm. But you do know what I need, yes? Strange glowing spheres appeared out of nowhere. The witch pulled one onto her and sighed, admiring it. The monster's beautiful heart 
are, are the ones willing to lose. The most beautiful hearts and the ones willing to lose what's important to them in order to get what they want. I didn't expect to get at this from one so prideful, but I suppose life is full of surprises. Well, I'm in good mood. I'm in a good mood, mood, so I'll give you a little something extra. The wishes I twinkle dubiously. I'll give you whatever form you desire. What do you want? The wolf remembered heard what she had told the prince. I want to look like a princess. After leaving the witch's house, the wolf made the journey back to the castle tower. She recalled the witch's words about turning into a princess. It had already been one night. The prince was in sight. The wolf focused on transforming into a princess. X. It's so... This is so cute. I love this. The princess called out to the prince. Prince? Princess, you came back. Thank you, but... Don't worry. I worked hard to be able to let you out, the princess said brightly, trying to ease the prince. Alright, she thought. I have to get him out of the cell. I can destroy the bars of the wolf, but the prince needs to get away from them first. Hmm. Could you step back a little? Oh, okay. Despite the prince's confusion and her instructions, he stepped back from the bars. As you walk hand in hand, the prince will follow. Let's pull his hand to escort him from here. So I need to hold it to escort him. So I actually... Because if I let go, he just stays put. Which makes sense. He is blind. He should not be wandering without someone guiding him. They entered the deadly forest to travel to the witch's house and heal the prince. So there their journey finally began. Yes, we're finally going to get into main gameplay. Just because... Yeah, this seems like the main gist of it. Of I go with the prince's hand, confront, go forward for a bit. But you absolutely have to make sure to not be the wolf when you go back. Oh, you can actually not get through as the wolf there, too. That's going to be interesting. Oh my god, I almost didn't transform back. Whoops, that would have been bad. Okay. Looks like these monsters, at the very least, are kind of terrified of the wolf. Because they seem to not attack, but back up when in wolf form. Which is good. Not complaining. Oh. Lever as the princess. This reminds me... I feel like this reminds me of some other game, but I'm not quite... Ah! Come back this way. And let's also get rid of all of you guys. That's not gonna work. Until... <gasps> no! Okay. Okay. Why B? Okay. Why over B? Okay. <gasps> Shit. Oh my god. I thought that would be like 
freak him out, game over kind of thing. If I just got near him, okay. Now that I know I can have a little bit more leeway with that. Four is likely to cost at any moment if three people want to stand up. The wolf plays the same as two people. Move you further up. Okay. Another seesaw. And make it stay. Oh, glad I can't accidentally hit the prince. Okay, good. He can come to my hand at some distance. It's not super hard, and it's not super complex in terms of. Just moving forward for the most part. Oh, here's... They talked to each other during their journey. She mentioned that she enjoyed running around and he could he confided that he liked reading. I, look, I love books about flowers, said the prince. I can't leave the castle that often so i thought it'd be nice to finally see flowers in the outside world while they were talking there was a rustling sound a monster appeared from the bushes and leapt toward the prince the prince's head barely escaped being bitten by the monster the prince and quickly transformed into the wolf and brushed the monster away but everything happened so fast, and for the prince, he could, and he could not see what was going on. He crouched down, out on the spot, shaking in fear. He couldn't help it. He recently had a scary experience in the forest. The wolf panicked. I've got to do something, but she had no idea what to do for the frightened prince. She desperately glanced around. A beautiful flower field caught her eye. She looked at her and remembered what the princess said. Of course, I can give him flowers. Is this going to be a new mechanic? Will he come with me? No? Yeah. Pressing Y, he will not come with me. Prince, this is for you. The princess has handed him a flower. Handed a flower to the prince. A flower? It smells so nice. Yeah, you said you love books about flowers. The prince smiled happily at the princess's words. The princess didn't expect the prince to be so happy. She felt like she was already becoming closer to him. I'll pick more flowers when I see another flower field. The princess thought, smiling. Wonder if that's going to be a game mechanic or just a... Another sort of collectible type of thing. Shit! 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 It's a little bit more annoying than anything that can't fit through smaller spaces. But enemies that I have to use the wolf for can. But fine, I get it. It's part of the 2D scrolling thing to make it more complicated. Even on a class swing floor, it's okay if you ride the turtles. I don't see how this makes a collapsing floor any less collapsible. Dirt goes up. I'm gonna jump over here. Yep, just another collectible. This way. Oh. There we go. Down. Oh, they both fall. Okay, come, hand. Hand, important. Oh, I need to be traded off. I 
Okay. That's just a matter of stepping forward when you get closer than the other one. And they both fall. It's both adorable and it makes- <gasps> No! Get away! You assholes. Get back here. Die. That is so scary. And I imagine there are going to be other types of creatures eventually. So I think I'm going to cut it here. And just say very cute. Very interesting. Not quite what I expected for the story, but, and I imagine the gameplay is going to get significantly, I wouldn't say extremely hard, considering the type of story it is and how it's more of a fairy tale esque setting. I think it's going to remain relatively semi simple, because I think the story, especially with how long that intro is, is a main focus of it and the gameplay and stuff is just sort of a way to make it feel more interactable and, and see you next time